He doesn't see that, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> number number five. Can we delete it? Is it too late? No, it's too late. <laughs> the, uh, top five Oklahoma State coaching candidates. Danny Sprinkle, Utah State. Look, they're playing TCU in the first round of the tournament this week. Uh, he's done a great job there. Would be a nice fit in Stillwater. He's done nothing but but raise the Aggies profile and ag school to ag school. I think it's a nice little yeah. maneuver there for him. Danny Sprinkle, a coach that a lot of people uh, have their sights on and moving to a power conference, something I don't think is beyond it. I don't. I, I've heard of him. I, I, it's not like I've watched Utah State basketball. Yeah. They seem to be kind of fun to watch, though. Yeah. Just, just wait until you hear number one. We're going to have fun with number one. I already told Garrett what it was, and some of the audience on the well, earlier no, show. It, Hoiberg's not in here, right? He's not in here because he just, he got just got the signed extension. an extension, by the way, at Nebraska. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would think Hoiberg. The more target for him would be like Louisville or something, but. Um, you know, not that Oklahoma State's not big, but I don't see him going back to the Big 12 and going against his alma mater. Just me. Number four, Josh Schertz at Indiana State. This is a guy who's on the outside looking into the tournament, but really through no fault of his own, just a victim of the system. They played really well this year. He plays a style of basketball that would really work in the Big 12. Uh, he would have an opportunity to bring in big-time players uh, to Oklahoma State. They've done it before. He can certainly do it. I think he would be a very fun fit in Stillwater. Um, that's one of the teams that I would like to have seen. They might have been completely done quickly, but it was one of those mid-majors that I saw a couple of times, watched and monitored. They were really good. And yet you're right, they're out. Uh, not with the So he has things to do. Not not with the guy. I'm gonna call him Larry Nerd because of the glasses, even though I don't I don't mean that. But like they had the big center with the glasses. Yeah, I think I think that guy they could have gotten a win or two, especially Kareem if they were, Abdul Jabbar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh number three. No, it really that's his name, yeah. right? It's yeah. spelled cream. Ca- no, C- that's not him, right? The guy was from Indiana State? Robbie Avila. Robbie Avila. Oh, yeah, Robbie okay. Avila. Yeah, okay. he's him. Thank you. Number three, Bryce Drew. And maybe this is me just whisk casting because I would like to see regular battles betwixt the Drew boys since they are so adverse to it uh, because, of, I mean, these guys are really close. And it I see how much it strains Coach Drew and Coach Tang and Coach McCaslin to all play against each other. Like They're very, very close. But outside of that, he's done a fantastic job at Grand Canyon. A fantastic job. I think they're going to beat St. Mary's in the first round. I am all about getting Bryce Drew and the Homer Drew coaching tree even further up on the list. I I think that Oklahoma State would be a nice fit for him. Uh, and again, uh, you know, the Drew coaching tree is dominating the Big 12 right now. So why not throw another Drew in the mix? Uh, he's he's. I think he's going to end up being a hot commodity. If not yeah. already, he seems to be that young Give you know he brings energy. Uh, obviously, the coaching tree, his dad, and now of course his brother. What he's done as well. Yeah. And is Molly Miller on this list? Uh, the, no, the Grand Canyon a, girls coach. Okay. But last time I did a Grand Canyon coach, it uh, you, she became viral because viral, of the top five. Yeah, absolutely. Number two. Wasn't Darian she your DeVry- screensaver for a while, Molly Miller? No, no. Darian, I'm trying to kill you not today. Not me, not <laughs> me, no. Darian DeVries uh, from Drake. Uh, this one comes with an added bonus of his kid, Tommy, who's awesome. <laughs> so more than likely, if you hire this guy, you're going to get a really good player right off the bat, which to me makes him the most likely candidate. But that is not what I'm doing here. I'm not telling you the most likely. I'm telling you the people that I think is the best. And as a pundit, it's my job upon you to enforce that my opinion is better than everyone else's, and I don't care what you think. I think that's the rule of punditry. It seems like it is. I don't know. uh, But uh, (laughs) Conundrum and I today had our back and forth about opinions. Why do most everybody's opinions, when they don't agree with another opinion, become so negative? I don't know. I, I enjoy other opinions. I, I in fact, I do too, thrive but I don't know it, why. They, but you know, but can I, I and I have? I think I, we're in the taunt. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. That's good. Good word for you. For me, it's a. <laughs> it's what does a good, that mean? I know <laughs> I went juco. God <laughs> Almighty! Let's get back to bottled spaghetti sauce. <laughs> this is what you get in return. Number two, like I said, this comes with his son Tommy, a really good player, uh, someone who can help elevate them really quickly and help bring in other players. I think this is probably the most likely for them, and their their number one target, at least their number one target, will be him because of that added bonus that he brings. But I think that this guy should be number one. Will Will Wade Wade. from McNeese State. And here's why. Garrett's a big Will Wade supporter. Love him. 
Look, the reason that Mike Boynton is no longer your coach is because the NCAA screwed you, Oklahoma State. So who better? Is that, th- that that's the main reason to throw double birds up to the at, NCAA? To the NCAA than the guy who lives his life by that motto. I'm surprised he couldn't rip open his shirt and he has a tattoo that says "F the NCAA" on it. Uh, you know, and starts a biker gang. That's I, I like. He is. Doing an excellent job at McNeese State. Uh, he's no, I, I, he's done one hell of a job. At, yeah, yeah, I mean, amazing job at McNeese State. He's got them to where they're they there are many people picking them to beat the Zags in the first round, and he would bring a swagger to the Big Twelve Conference that you're going to need now. You're going to need it because you have got ton. I mean, you're throwing in. Uh, you're about to throw Tommy Lloyd in this mix. You're you've already got you know, Samson and Drew and Self and all the other guys down the list that are really good coaches in this league. But to throw that on top of it, why not put some hot sauce on this with Will Wade, uh, give it right back to the NCAA that you disagree with what they think, take a hot commodity, put in there. All those things that I just said is the exact reason why they should do it, but it's also the exact reason they won't do does, it. He does not obviously have a show cause because he's at McNeese What's over? He, he, he beat him. Like they, oh, like, that's he, right. He beat him. He, like he won. He still they was didn't fired. Get, they that's didn't right. get any level one violations. He won. Yeah, that, and, and I'm telling you, he will win wherever he goes next, whether mm-hmm. it's stay, stay there for another year or he ends up at Oklahoma State or ends up somewhere else. He is a hell of a basketball coach and, you know, well, Oklahoma State better get him because if they don't, and Texas fires Rodney Terry, that's your dude. See, he would. All right. Oh, so man. I'm telling you. All right, but here's the thing, and this is Texas. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they'd want to touch that. Man, no matter what, no matter. Well, what, they they are they are very antiseptic, right? No, they really are. They really They're, are because yeah. one, they don't have to, because there'll be others that will be. Even bigger names or guys that they feel like I just I don't know if they would touch anyone with any kind of blemish. I really I, I'm just telling you, I he would do well wherever he's going to go next. And obviously, if you have more facilities and all the other stuff, you can, I just don't think they would do that. They might not, man. But he knows that league and everything. That would be I, I, tremendous. I get it. You're right because of the time he was at LSU. But he's a hell of a, he's a hell of a coach. No question. What are they like? Thirty two and three or something crazy? I think I don't so. Even, I don't even. It could be twenty eight and ten. All right, thanks to Emery Winter.